This is Paul. And this is Rabbi Doug. Stay tuned for Taped with Rabbi Doug next. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're going to watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, how many money talk about Doug? Shalom, welcome to Take It with Rabbi Doug. I am here at Beetlefest 2012 in Chicago with Lawrence Stuber of Wings. How are you, Lawrence? All right, how are you? Nice to see you. So glad to see you. This is the second time uh, in the last few years that you've been here in Chicago. Are you a fan of Chicago of Beetlefest? Well, I'm a fan of Chicago. Very hey, good. I usually come at least once a year. I know. Now you are. You're originally from from London. London, and now you live in Studio City in California. Correct? Great. Um, you were telling me before we went on the air that you have just done a project with uh, my good friend Craig Tubman. You want to tell our viewers about that because I think it's great because it's about another old friend of mine of blessed memory. Well, yeah. Well, uh, Craig is is my neighbor, so we've done many projects over the years. Uh, all kinds of stuff, Pesos songs, Tonico songs, you know, and you'll find stuff on, on iTunes that we've done together. But this is a tribute to Debbie Friedman, and we, we cut the song. Well, Debbie Friedman, um, when she was very sick, was here in Chicago for the Chicago Jewish Festival and played uh, her last festival here in Chicago, and uh, we were so happy to have her on, and uh, I think it's a wonderful thing that you guys are doing. She's, she was a great person. You know, I didn't know it personally. Yeah, she, she was a great person. Right. She did so much for community and charity and uh, just, just a wonderful person and certainly well known in the Jewish community oh. all over the United States. Uh, what are you doing yourself as, as projects these days? What am I not doing? <laughs> uh, well, I tour a lot. Uh -huh. I do 80 to 100 shows a year. I record, I'm just finishing my 21st album. I write music for television, for movies, for video games, for theater. Um, I play on other people's records and TV shows. Sure, 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 sure. And I just stay very busy, and my wife, Hope, and myself are you know, very just active, creative. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And what is it that your, your future plans are? To, to continue doing what you're doing right now? Is it what you're enjoying? Um, yes and no. Uh -huh. um, I enjoy teaching, so I've been doing some college stuff, and I do high school and elementary school outreach, and I like to communicate my experiences and my knowledge and try and create some framework for young musicians, especially, to um, potentially have a career in what is essentially a very challenging field. I know that our viewers are asking the question, what was the first song that Lawrence Juber recorded when Paul McCartney met you and invited you to be in Wings? first song we did was um, Same Time Next Year, same time next year. which was a demo for a movie of the same name. Uh -huh. And it ended up Paul didn't get the score. Um, but the song, I think, first appeared some years later on the uh, Put It There uh -huh. um, single, CD single that came out sometime in the late 80s. Um, but that was the first session. Very and, that, and that was you know kind of this big cinematic and then the second tune that we worked on was on Back to the Egg, it was um, a song called uh, To You, which was quite radical. Right, right, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Lauren Schumer of Wings, stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug, here at Beetlefest 2012 in Chicago, and we'll be back. This is Craig, and this is Jess. And we are really glad that you're watching Tape with Rabbi Doug. All right. We love him. <laughs> D-A-D, G-A-D, not a, not a people tuning, that's for sure. I don't know that they really used anything other than standard tuning, but um, Jimmy Page was very fond, fond of this tuning. Deck at tuning, that's what he wrote, Cashmere, yeah. 
and uh, a lot of English folk guitar players used it, and I just find it really a very useful and musical tuning. D A D G A D, as opposed to standard tuning, which is E A D G B E. So the top two strings and the bottom string go down a whole step. Um, so, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Okay. So happy you're here. Well, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Something of a surprise. I do have a brand new tuning that I've been playing with. It's um, A D D A D D. It's just a little hard to concentrate. On. <laughs>
Lawrence Juba of Wings, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. Welcome to Tape with Rabbi Doug. I'm here with Frida Kelly. She is one of the earliest fans of the Beatles. She knew every one of them very well. She even was with them during their Magical Mystery taping and, and other things, and uh, during the filming of that movie. Uh, and you became their secretary. It started with the fan club, it all went on. How did you really get to meet them and, and know them the very first time? I got to meet them and going to the cafe at lunchtime. Oh, they're watching the band. I was there watching the band, and then I got to meet them. I went so often, I got to know them personally, and then um, I found out that they lived near me, uh, and occasionally they would give me this home, and so I got quite close to them. Very nice. What do you think was the highlight of your relationship with them over the years? Was it was it joining them on, on their festivities and their and their filmings and things like that, or was it just really knowing them and being around when they had uh, get-togethers? No, it was just being around and, and we got get-togethers or when they came in the office. But I mean, I went to private parties, you know, at home in their homes, and that was good. That's, yeah. that's really wonderful. So now there's a movie coming out, a, a documentary about you and your relationship and friendship with the Beatles, is that right? That's right, yeah. That's, that's, that's very, very out, exciting. Um, early next year. Very nice, very nice. Well, I wish you much success with your film, and uh, it's so nice to have you here at Beetlefest 12 in Chicago, and uh, all the best to you, you and uh, Frida Kelly, stay with us here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. Hudson, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. Oi. Thought he wasn't gonna do it. I thought he wasn't gonna do it tonight. I don't know.
that's it for part one here at Beatles Fest 2012 at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare, but stay with us next time for part two. If you want to email us, you can email us at info at tvrabbi.com. And if you want to see our website or see former Beatles Fest shows or other shows on the web, the website is www.tvrabbi.com. Don't miss next time. There'll be more Beatles music, more of Liverpool, and a lot more right here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. This has been a Taped with Rabbi Doug production.